A SWAT standoff in South Jordan has turned into a possible biohazard this morning. An entire neighborhood is being evacuated. This is happening near 34th West and 104th South. The SWAT team responded overnight to an armed man, and now the bomb squad is involved. ABC4's Jared Giacinini is there live. So, Jared, what's happening right now? Well, Brian, a five-day-long investigation ended with a shootout between police and the suspect. Right now, the uh, area where we're standing now under evacuation and also some homes as police investigate an unknown combustible substance inside one of these homes here behind us. A little uneasy. As McKay Garrett, manager of Duck Donuts, watches police investigate a home right next door to the donut shop. This was going to go one of two ways. South Jordan police investigating 42 year old Ryan McMonagle. On July 18th, police responded to this Culver's right around the corner from McMonagle's home on a threats call. According to a probable cause statement, the business owner says he received threatening text messages from McMonagle, asking the owner how he would feel if McMonagle, quote, entered the business and mowed down customers and staff. According to the probable cause statement, McMonagle says the Culver's was harassing him. The next day, police received another call saying McMonagle had been seen carrying an AR style rifle around the outside of his home by two nearby residents. Police say several gunshots were also reported around the same time McMonagle was seen with his gun. Police say this was in violation of a protective order. Thursday night, police served a search warrant and tried to take weapons found inside McMonagle's home. When negotiators contact him, he immediately becomes adversarial and starts firing rounds towards the armored vehicles. Uh, thankfully, no officers were hurt, including the suspect was safely taken into custody. We had a decent idea that he may confront us in a violent manner, and we were prepared for that, which I think is why everyone came out safe. Garrett says he's glad police were not injured and that this is the best case scenario. It would have been nice to open today, but things happen. It's 2020. And back out here live, that corner home there is the home where police are investigating. And we just spoke to investigators who say there was enough of this substance found inside this home where they plan to be out here investigating for several more hours, at least until the weekend. Now, McGonagall faces 26 charges, included aggravated assault and felony discharge of a firearm. A background check for McGonagall shows he has six convictions of disorderly conduct since 2002. Now, we made several attempts to reach out to the Culvers, but were unsuccessful. Reporting live, Jared Jotinini, ABC4 News.